to the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only God, be the honor and glory forever and ever. To the King, to the King eternal, immortal, invisible, invisible, the only God. Honor and glory forever and ever. Honor and glory. Honor and glory forever. Honor to you, O Lord. Glory, honor, dominion, power, because He loves you. Can you say this with me? Say, I love you, God. Say, I love you, God. Then turn to your neighbor. Say, I love you, neighbor. Try and tell seven people that I love you. I love you. I love you, neighbor. The Bible says, out of the mouth of two or three, the word shall be what? This is a Bible study living church. Hallelujah! Holy Spirit filled church and Bible study church. Shout hallelujah! Shout hallelujah! The most important message is in Matthew 6.33. Hallelujah! Seek ye the kingdom of God and what? And what? Oh, huh? Hallelujah. Amen. We are all seeking the kingdom of God, isn't it? Hallelujah. And his righteousness. Matthew 5 6 says, Those that are thirsty and hunger for righteousness, they shall be what? Filled. Amen? Amen? Once you allow yourself for the Holy Spirit to direct and teach you, he will comfort you. Hallelujah! Amen? Can we say this to ourselves? Say, and the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of all glory, may give me spirit of wisdom and revelation of him. And revelation of him is the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. And his righteousness. Because our God is clothed with the robe of righteousness. Amen. There is a cup in the throne of grace that the oil never dries. <laughs> Amen. Those are the additions. The Lord, the God we serve, Jehovah Elohim, His Son, Jesus Christ, and their Spirit, Holy Spirit. And what they want us to worship and seek. Seek him, worship in spirit and truth. And all wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Proverbs 8.17 says, I love those that love me. 
And now does that seek me early. In him is durable riches. In him is righteousness. In him is gold. In him is silver. In him is revenue. And I tell you today, you shall live here today and you shall be blessing to nations in Jesus' name. The Bible says the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off. Every expectation you brought to this hall in the mighty name of Jesus, you shall receive it and you shall give testimony in Jesus' name. One thing I want us to have today is great faith. Amen? I know in the mighty name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit will speak today in Jesus' name. Let us close our eyes. Father, the entrance of your word Give it light and understanding to the simple. We humbly come before thee, O Lord. Come and speak. Teach us your word in Jesus' mighty name. What we prayed for ourselves was Ephesians 1.17. That is the theme for today. Amen. I'm a man that is very, 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 very submissive to our darliness. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the steps of the righteous is ordered by who? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You are blessed that, and I am blessed that we are operating under open heavens. This is confirmation to what the man of God said. And the Lord said, the doors that he has opened, no man can shut it. Holy Spirit, grace, glory to glory, are immeasurable. We are in dispensation of immeasurable blessing. It's how far your faith is. How great your faith is. How ready you can contain it. Because it's already provided. The steadfastness of the Lord never cease. His mercies never come to an end. They are what? They are new. They are what? And great is His you are serving a faithful Lord. So it depends on you now to be faithful to yourself. So that you'll be able to receive what belongs to you. Because you are in a garden where you, it is ordained to pursue, overtake, and possess. Shout hallelujah. When I was praying, I would have come early. Forgive me. Because I like to start where God has assigned me. Because he's my employer to do works. But he arrested my heart. He said, tell my people today that the former rain that he has provided for you is moderate too. The latter rain he has given to you this morning. Receive it today in Jesus' name. I don't know. That is how Holy Spirit just I've prepared, prepared for almost two weeks now. He's taking it another way. Hallelujah. Because I jotted them down. He said, you shall have plenty. Say plenty. plenty. Say plenty. plenty. There are three categories of revenue from heaven. You have the one of pocket full. Amen. You have the one of basket full. You have the one of storehouse. Field. Which one do you want? Hallelujah! So you have to be willing and willing and Jesus, thank you Lord. I am willing and obedient to receive my own from DRM today in Jesus' name. If you want to grow in righteousness, live in righteousness, as God releases unto you and the mouth of whom God has designated for you to listen to. Honor them. Bible says it is right and God is a God of upright because he's clothed in righteousness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The anointing for revelational knowledge. 
Hallelujah. Anointing is the carrier of divine virtue. That is why a real child of God, once you're born again, you're saved, you love your neighbor, which we have all satisfied today. There is love in the church now. Tell people about Jesus Christ. And when you tell people about Jesus Christ, the Lord is not unfaithful to forget your righteous work to the saints. Hebrews 6 10. Hallelujah. Amen. I tell you today, if you fulfill all this, they don't. Let me tell you the truth today. You can pray for what you want from God. You can ask, Matthew 7 7. You can seek, you can knock. But anointing is a free will from our Heavenly Father. And it gives you according to how you are to Him. The Lord is the one that gives power. Deuteronomy 8 18. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. And he said, he shall come to pass. <laughs> I love this. I will pour my spirit on all flesh. Your son and daughters, they shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. And your young men shall see vision. And also upon the servants, upon the handmaids, he will pour his spirit in Jesus' mighty name. That is revelation. Amen? That is revelation. God has already spoken through prophet Joel before the manifestation and the advent of Holy Spirit which you are privileged. to embrace in that is our dispensation of century. Hallelujah. It's a privilege. Hallelujah. I thank God for every ministry in this church. You all did well. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. More anointing to you all. Clap for Jesus. I was really lifted. Anointing. Is a carrier. Revelation means unveiling. Say unveiling. So revelation and knowledge is a communication between Holy Spirit and to yourself. Amen. It is a communication from God through the inner still voice, which is Holy Spirit. To you. Now, if our Almighty God sees that you cannot quickly grasp it, because it's flow. Hallelujah. Revelation gives your neighbor, when God reveals to you, I say, Mommy, the Lord says. Let me teach you one secret. When somebody says the Lord says, start speaking in tongues. Although it's pastoral consumption, if I want to flow in the ministry, you know why you speak in tongues? You are activating your discerning spirit. If you don't want to be rude, don't say it out. Amen. And He, Holy Spirit, will interpret it to you. Then, if it's not of God, that person will not flow. Because any revelation that is, does not conform with the word of God, daddy, is not revelation. Huh? <laughs> His brother says. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. That is why we will not and we shouldn't relegate any child of, uh, any child of God that Holy Spirit speaks to. 
The Holy Spirit can talk through a bricklayer, a carpenter, to move the ministry, to move one's life, to actualize what you have been expecting or to confirm. Because God is not a respecter of man. I, would, I don't like to talk about brethren and even we men of God. A brother came here while he was talking. He said three things that confirmed what God spoke to me. I will talk to you, sir. God can use anyone, but be prepared. Release yourself to him. Let him direct you. Hallelujah. John 10, 27, it says, My sheep hear my voice. I know them. They follow me. And I give unto them eternal life. Revelation you hear must correspond what with what our Lord Jesus Christ has already provided, which is eternity. Shout hallelujah. Because he's the king of knowledge. He is, he is the originator of wisdom. He is wisdom. So proverb it. He said, I am a wisdom. Thank you, Jesus. He said, my father which gave them to me is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my hand. Because I and my father are one. Draw near unto me. I will draw near unto you. Amen? That is why he said, come unto me, he that is heavenly. And I will do what? Because he's the prince of peace. And Galatians 5.19, he is, the Bible says, what? Peace is one of the fruit of the spirit. And joy, isn't it? Then what is the first one? Love. Amen? The first one is love. And love covereth it all. Thank you, Jesus. So if the Lord can tell us, and Hebrew, Hebrew 1, 1, God who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time of past to fathers by the prophets, and his last day spoken to us through his son, which he has appointed as heir of all things, and he has he made the world, who being the brightness of his glory and express image of his son, Upholding all things with the word by his word and his power, which he had made to purge all our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Do you know you are co heirs with our Lord Jesus Christ? Do you know that? If he has sent word to the prophets in the Old Testament, and he now spoke. To Jehovah Elohim, that stand up, study with all humility. We want to do something, and I said, "Come, mommy, come here." And I said, "Father, let us send our spirit to go and comfort them, teach them, and direct them." And the spirit now came and it dwelt in you. And the Trinity, our Father, Son, and Heaven, now release their spirit to come in you. He has released immeasurable blessing to you. Say amen. amen. He has released immeasurable revelation to you. Say amen. amen. And knowledge that no man can comprehend, he has released it to you. Amen. Say amen. amen. That is the dispensation you are now. Clap for Jesus. Are we following? Amen? I don't know why Holy Spirit is taking this dimension. I was preparing, praying, waiting on the Lord. 
So what God wants you to get today is divine revelational knowledge. Can we say amen? The Lord has given you the anointing, amen, to preach the gospel. The more you do his work, he shall do your work in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The Lord is telling me that he has moved you to another level. Because the Lord says that you will call unto me and he will hear and he will do greater things. God does not look at your past to bless you. God does not look at your history to bless you. If only you believe greater things he has done, you will do in Jesus' name. Can you say amen? Eh, I gave him because it's good to communicate with your God as if you are talking to a friend. I gave him to a puzzle. I said, Father, if you have called me, I want to be a global businessman. Make me a global evangelist. Eh, you want to call me? Eh, because I love challenges. Amen? Make me a global evangelist, daddy. And whenever I go into fellowship, I'm always waiting. I didn't hear anything. I said, okay. Second question. If you want me to do your work, I want to see you. Jesus Christ, I want to see you. I didn't hear anything. I'm not the employer. He's the employer. Amen? I was worshiping. The day I did not overfast. I did not overread Bible. I was in God's TV just now down worshiping. I saw my Lord Jesus Christ in my front. Hallelujah. And since then, my life has never remained the same. That is a revelation. That is where I'm coming to vision. He will speak to you. When Holy Spirit speak to you, that is one. Second is vision. Amen? If you can see that you cannot be patient to hear what is planning, he will reveal to you in vision. When that pass, I say, yes. You are my younger son. That is in my thoughts. I bow. I say, Father, people don't believe me. Eh? Am I still the old soul? Show me you call me. He opened the Bible to Isaiah 43. First time Bible spoke to me. Yeah. I was thinking Bible was reading the first time. Ah. And thank God my wife was out for a program. Because I would have been distracted a bit. The Bible read itself. God is God of no equal. Amen? That is revelation written. So I want to tell you today, God can reveal himself to you, speak to you, show you, read. The one that will suit your subconscious because he's God. Then he now answered the prayer. Some ministers now wrote from different parts of the world. Maybe they check our website. They said they want to go to our school of ministry. And everything I buy in Manuel Foundation ministry is free. Our ministry came from Isaiah 714. Amen? It came from Isaiah 714. That is why when people tell me, ah, why not E? When is I? I said, when God opened my eye, that is why I saw. And it's still the same. It's just Hebrew and Greek translation. Let us don't fight over. You are going to pray if God really send this man. That is it. Amen? But still, E. Emmanuel is, a, is our motto. Emmanuel, God with us, which satisfy Matthew. Amen? So what I'm trying to say is that when God 
wants to use you. Is it that he reveals to you? Or your shepherd? Jeremiah 3.15. He said, I will give you pastors after my own knowledge and understanding. Amen? Hallelujah. So I want to tell you today that God giveth a man that is good in his sight, which is wisdom and knowledge. Ecclesiastes 2.26 And joy. Amen. Ecclesiastes 2.26 God giveth you what? He giveth you what is good in his sight. Wisdom and knowledge. As a child of God, you are endowed to have it in Jesus' name. What are the determining factors? When you have to be born again. You have to be born again. John 3, 3 says, says, says that except a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. You have to be born again. If you are not born again, you cannot get revelational knowledge. That's one of the kingdom of God because it's an addition. That makes you the salt. That makes you the light of the world. That makes you the salt of the earth. And when you see challenges, ignore it and praise God because they are stepping stone to victory. Amen? Amen? So if Mr. X or Ms. X condemn you, that is between him and God. John 4, 23 says, The hour comment when a man, and now is, sorry, when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. And for the Father seeking such people, and God is a spirit, that they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Humble yourself. Come and worship. Worship God. Let them see you in the house of the Lord. When the church says Sunday, Come to church and serve him. That is where you are renewed. That is when God gives gifts. I'm telling you, that is when God gives what you don't deserve. That is when impartation, everything is granted. That is when he sends angels to bring your expectation. They are waiting for you. Receive it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Then four, service and humility. Mark 10, 45 said, For the Son of Man came to serve, not to be served. See yourself as a tool to be used, a vessel purified by God to be used. A real man, a real woman, add value to his or her neighbor. Even in any country, that is when they will love you. So is God. Hallelujah. Come and serve. I came here today. Daddy and I, we spoke a lot of things. You know what I want to do? I want to come and serve. Hallelujah. This is not professional ethics when I will come and start saying stories with slideshow and start moving. Everybody will clap. No, all glory be to God. That is the difference before, between the worldly and the spiritual. Humble yourself. Serve and it will increase you. Receive increase in Jesus' name. Receive multiplication in Jesus' name. Replenishing is yours in Jesus' name. Serve! Romans 12 tells us, Be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Give preference to one another in honor. You have to be subject to one another. Be clothed with humility. For God resisted the proud and give grace to the humble. Then five, he said, ask, 
Seek, knock, Matthew 7, 7. Ask, it shall be given unto you. Seek, you shall find. Knock, it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that ask, receive it. Everyone that ask, seek it, find it. And to him that knock it, it shall be open. The Lord shall answer your prayers today in Jesus' name. The door is already open in Jesus' name. Receive your miracle in Jesus' name. As you seek the Lord, you have found him in Jesus' name. Take your glory, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. If God can tell the prophets that came before the advent of the Holy Spirit, that I have a big plan for you. He has the biggest plan for you and I. Hallelujah. He has the biggest plan for you and I. He told Jeremiah 29, 11 to 10, he said, for I know the plan I have for you, declared Lord, plan to prosper you. So prosperity is one of the plan of the Lord. Receive prosperity in Jesus' name. I don't want to know. I don't want to know how. How you've been asking. But I know the Lord has opened it for you in Jesus' name. Immeasurable blessing in Jesus' name. Can we say amen? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Then you have to have faith. Hebrew 11.1 if faith is the substance of for evidence of things not seen. Amen? Without faith, we cannot please God. So lastly, before we go into prayers today, because that's what the Lord said I should do, learn to thank God every time. Praise him. In the world, when they give you something, you say thank you. Daddy, in the spiritual realm, you thank God before you receive it. Get to you quicker. Mm, that's, that's, that's the simplest wisdom any pastor should have. Amen? In the mighty name of Jesus, every good God way shall be made straight. In Jesus' mighty name. If it, that is your rise up to your feet. Rise up to your feet. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. so, today I am blessed and highly favored in Jesus name say father say father father grant me teachable attitude let me be able to comprehend your word speak to me in Jesus name Speak to the Lord, Mahike Bolobo. Speak to the Lord, Ribalabo Shide Bobo. Yes, speak to the Lord. Let the Lord give us teachable attitude, humility, Maliproto Koshida Baba. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says the Lord give us grace. And the Lord give us grace. The God resisted the proud. But greater grace is given to the humble. Submit yourself before God. Libro Hege Boshide Balaba. Eboro Boshide Balabalaba. Egalibolo Bolo Bolo Boshide Bolo. In Jesus' mighty name. Say, Lord, cleanse me with your blood. In Jesus' mighty name. Cleanse me from head to the toe, to my heart, to my body. Cleanse me. In Jesus' name, turn it to prayer. In Jesus' name, say, Father, let the eyes of my understanding be open to know your revelation, to hear your voice. Open my mouth to speak forth your mysteries, eating of all ages, so that your glory can be known in the world in Jesus name oh, yeah, I speak to God thank you Jesus Father I receive it in Jesus name in Jesus name say Father let me know the hope of your glory the inheritance of saints in the mighty name of Jesus in the glorious name of Jesus open your mouth and pray Father I receive it inheritance the hope of your glory yes mm -hmm. 
In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Say, Father, focus my attention to divine revelation, to divine knowledge, to understanding, divine wisdom. In the mighty name of Jesus, release immeasurable blessing that you said that the Holy Spirit should come and comfort me, direct me, and teach me. Continue to profess it. It's what you say. There's life and death in the tongue. Now confess life. Life, 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 life. Yes. Father, I love you. 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 In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Open your eye. Hallelujah. Amen. Mark 16, 16, 16, 17 says, Signs shall follow those that believe. Amen. You are loaded with anointing now. You start seeing revelation, empowerment of God. Now, say, Father, Father. it is your mandate and your covenant that signs shall follow me. Mention your name all the days of your life. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sign and wonders. Oh, yeah, call it on yourself. Sign. That they shall know that you are a child of God. Yes, daddy. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. Because of time, I'm sorry, it's not that I don't want to take testimonies. We we'll all do that in Crusade and Revival. Any testimony, please tell Pastor. Amen? There is miracle in the house. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah! It's the faith of God in me, I know. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Say, I have received my miracle. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen? Stretch yes. your hand to the altar and receive your miracle in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, every mistress hidden from ages that has been revealed through the Holy Spirit in this our generation. Father, release it into the house in Jesus' name. Release it unto your children in Jesus' name. Release it unto the house in Jesus' name. Release it to their house in Jesus' name. Release miracle to the house in Jesus' name. Bless their going out and coming in Jesus' name. Wherever they tread, they shall possess their possession in holiness in Jesus' name. Receive deliverance in Jesus' name. Receive healing in Jesus' name. Lord, let divine revelation, let it continue to be revealed into our life in Jesus' name. Let the anointing from heaven, let it continue to flow into our lives in Jesus' name. Receive divine knowledge in Jesus' name. Receive divine wisdom in Jesus' name. Divine understanding in Jesus' name. Increase in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, we shall acquire the word God has given unto us in Jesus' name. Can you say amen? Can you say amen? I pray for all the students. The Lord will continue to give you excellent spirit in Jesus' name. I pray for all the workers. He shall bless the work of your hand in Jesus' name. I pray for the mothers. Lord, continue to bless them in Jesus' name. I pray for the newly wedded and those expecting. Lord, give babies in Jesus' name. Release babies into their life in Jesus' name. Release babies into their life in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Take all that glory. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you for the healing. Thank you for the empowerment. Continue to glorify God. He's the Asian of this. He's the Lily of Valley. His son shall die. All glory to him. All honor to him for answered prayers. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the open doors. Thank you for the open heaven. Father, we love you. Father, we appreciate you. Father, we give you all the glory. Father, we thank you. Majesty, we love you. We appreciate you. Jesus, we love you. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We love you, Jesus. We honor you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.